This book is titled My Two Holidays, A Hanukkah and Christmas Story. Written by Danielle Novak. And illustrated by Phyllis Harris. One cold December morning, Sam woke up, stretched, got out of bed, and looked out his window. Everything was covered with white snow. Winter was Sam's favorite time of year. He loved sledding, ice skating, building snowmen, and adding a hat and sticks for arms. And of course, celebrating the holidays. He was so excited that he jumped out of bed, got dressed, and ran downstairs. In the living room, the Christmas tree sparkled with ornaments and twinkling lights. Sam had helped make strings of cranberries and popcorn for the tree. In the kitchen, near the window, the silver menorah gleamed on the windowsill. Sam had helped polish the old menorah, which used to belong to his grandmother. Have some breakfast, Sam, said his mother. Did Santa come yet? He asked. Not yet. There are a few more weeks to go until Christmas, his mother answered. What about Hanukkah? Sam asked. Can we light the menorah candles tonight? No, Hanukkah is almost here, but it doesn't start tonight, said his mother. He would just have to wait a little longer. At Sam's school, the classroom had been decorated for the holidays. Miss Nancy played piano while the children sang The Twelve Days of Christmas and I Have a Little Dreidel. Sam loved singing holiday songs. He knew all the words and sang in the loudest voice he could. Then, Miss Nancy said, Today, we are going to learn about the holidays that people celebrate at this time of year. Some people celebrate Christmas, and some people celebrate Hanukkah. Some people celebrate Kwanzaa. How does your family celebrate? A little boy named Jack stood up. My family celebrates Christmas, said Jack. We put lights on our tree and Santa slides down the chimney to leave us presents while we're sleeping. A little girl stood up. Her name was Maya. My family celebrates Hanukkah, said Maya. We light the menorah every night for eight nights and play dreidel. 
As each child described their special holiday, Sam didn't feel so excited anymore. He started to feel nervous and confused. All the other kids had just one holiday. Why didn't he? Finally, it was his turn. How do you celebrate, Sam? asked Miss Nancy. Sam looked around the room. His mouth was dry and his hands were clammy. The kids were standing waiting for his answer. Which one is it? asked Jack. All the children stared at him, waiting for an answer. His face felt hot. He was too embarrassed to say he celebrated two holidays. I, uh, I, uh, I, Sam stammered, and he ran into the bathroom. He stayed there for a long time. When he came out, the class was doing arts and crafts. He was very quiet until it was his time to go home. I don't want to go to school anymore, Sam told his mother. What happened? she asked. Sam told her about the teacher's question and about hiding in the bathroom. I wish we celebrated just one holiday. It's weird to have two. Sam's mother hugged him. Actually, many people celebrate both Christmas and Hanukkah. It's very special to have two holidays. Then she explained, Your dad is Christian and he has always celebrated Christmas. We decorate the tree and hang stockings by the fireplace. Santa will leave you lots of presents. And Nana and Papa will come for turkey dinner on Christmas Day. I love Christmas, said Sam. I am Jewish, continued his mother, so I have always celebrated Hanukkah. This menorah has been in our family for generations. My grandmother gave it to my mother, then my mother gave it to me. Every year, we light the candles for eight nights. We give one another presents, play dreidel, and eat latkes, potato pancakes, fried in oil with applesauce and sour cream. I love latkes, said Sam, and I love Hanukkah too. Sam smiled as his mother hugged him. You see, she said, Christmas and Hanukkah are about celebrating our love as a family. It's one of the things that makes our family special. The next day, Sam marched into his classroom with his head held high. He did not feel embarrassed anymore. 
Sam sang the holiday songs in a loud, clear voice. Then, Miss Nancy said it was time for recess. Wait, said Sam. Yesterday, I didn't get to tell the class how my family celebrates the holidays. All the kids looked at him. Well, okay, Sam, said Miss Nancy. Go ahead. My family celebrates Christmas and Hanukkah, said Sam. I get Santa and latkes and stockings and a menorah. The kids were quiet. Then they started to smile. Jack said, that's really cool. Maya said, you are so lucky. Miss Nancy said, thank you for telling us about your two holidays. After that, Sam felt great. He was so excited for, ho for the holidays. It's okay to be a little different, Sam told his parents when he got home. Celebrating Hanukkah and Christmas means more fun and lots of love. I can't wait for my two holidays. Now you've read through the story beginning to end. Maybe one of you celebrates two holidays. There is no wrong or right way to celebrate the holidays. Your celebrations are wonderful. Whatever your customs, your culture, or your religion is, you can celebrate two holidays or one holiday. Either is great. People must respect each other's celebrations. H-A-N-U-K-K-A-H Hanukkah Hanukkah A celebration lasting eight days in which a candle is lit every day for eight days. It takes place in December and follows a lunar calendar. K W A N Z A A Kwanzaa 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 is celebrated by African Americans and takes place the last week of December, January 25th or 26th until January 1st. M E N O R A H Menorah a candelabra which holds candles. D R E I D E L. Dreidel, a Jewish game. L A T K E S. Latkes, a potato pancake, deep fried in oil, served with sour cream and applesauce. And to all of you, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.